In this video, we'll uh, create realistic leaf material in 3ds Max and Viri. Here you can see I have a very simple scene already set up. Examining the geometry, you can see the objects are simple, one-sided polygons without thickness. The idea here is to create translucent materials to make our leaves as realistic as possible by allowing partial transmission of light through them. I have texture maps ready which I will use for this scene. I will also share the same maps with you and if you are interested you can download them for use in your projects. I will begin with the diffuse map and assign it to the respective slot. Under coordinates, position the texture map to your liking. In my case, I will adjust the angle of my texture under U and W slots. Go to V-Ray bitmap, select opacity map and assign it to the opacity slot in the V-Ray material. Again, under coordinates, adjust the texture angle under U and W slots. This we will do for all our maps. Here we have uh, different kinds of opacity modes that control how opacity is sampled. Stochastic mode, which is the default. And then there are two more modes, the normal mode and the clip mode. The normal mode gives the best results, but with increased render times. For the clip, it's useful when uh, there are many transparent surfaces, one behind the other. For example, if you have a tree with many leaves, stochastic is basically for a correct average appearance. For our case, we'll use a normal mode. Now let's add some specular map detail and slot it into our reflection channel. Now one thing I realize uh, is that uh, I am missing this uh, specular map so let's quickly create it using photoshop use the diffuse map as the starting point first let's desaturate the map select hue saturation or control u and set the saturation value to minus 100 then we go to invert key combination being uh, control i then go to levels we have to set the level so that the black areas will be will be really crisp to see the transitions between black and white points. Lastly, go to filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, to make our map a little sharper. Not too much, don't overdo it. So let's go back to with this max and add the specular map to the reflection channel and set the glossiness to a lower value. Now our leaves look okay, but we must set up the correct translucency. Begin by enabling thin walled slot.
then select the SSS mode under translucency which stands for subsurface scattering Use the translucency map and uh, insert it into the translucent slot of our V-ray material. Now assign the bump map into the bump slot of our V-ray material. As you can see the, the effect is not too visible so let's increase the value. For my case I'll use a 500. Let's have another view set up from a different angle. Still, uh, as you can see, our translucency levels are not are not correct. Set the subsurface scattering or SSS amount to default value of one. And let's see what happens. As you can see, our uh, the leaves now look okay they look good actually so i'm okay with this level of translucency In today's video, we, we've learned how to create realistic leaf material and most importantly, how to set up the correct translucency using subsurface scattering. As always, please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Do subscribe and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions which areas you need clarification.